what's up everybody today we're gonna start playing pokemon leaf green i woke up this morning and i just had an itch for pokemon so i thought hey let's start with the game that started it all for me um i was a little kid came to america in 2006 um i think of my first or second year in school i got a game boy from one of my friends and the first game that i truly played was pokemon leaf green so really i consider this to be one of the first or the first video game that I truly got like you know like sucked into and actually played um, so yeah let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get started here I hooked up my um, quiet keyboard here I think I've got all my settings correct and this is on an emulator um, I did set up all the controls beforehand so we really should be all good to go um, I'm I don't know if I'm gonna be reading everything in the game I'll, I'll probably read most things but things like this I won't so you can go ahead and just uh, read that pause the screen if you want but um, I will be reading most dialogue, I'll say it that way. And um, the last time I played, I was really little, so I'm a little more grown up now. It's gonna be nice to see how the game, you know, evolved and see what new things I can find. Hello there, glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets, others use them for battling. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. But first, tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, so, I am a boy. I'm gonna go ahead and do a boy playthrough here. And my name, I'm gonna go ahead and make it, um, Red. Right, so your name is Red, yep. Let's go ahead and go with Red here. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were both babies. What was his name again? It's uh, not something easy to forget here, but let's go ahead and go with Blue. We'll keep it original here. Was it Blue? Yep, that's right. I remember now his name is Blue. Professor Oak has dementia, dude. Red, your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. The world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. All right, let's go. So right off the bat, we start off with a nest in front of us. I know in future games it's either like a Switch or a Wii. We've got a bed, a computer, and a lot. Of, there's a lot of things to click on in uh, Pallet Town. Um, they're mostly just tutorial stuff, so I'm not gonna you know bother. Right, all boys leave home someday. It said so on TV. Ah uh, yes, Professor Oak next door was looking for you. So um, we can go ahead and go to the lab, but he actually won't be there. It'll just be blue. Um, so we're gonna we have to go ahead and try to go into the grass here. Hey, wait, don't go out. And he'll pop up. It's unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. Alright, we go with him. And of course, the music is always bumping. I only play games with bumping music, so you guys can definitely expect that from this playthrough. Grams, I'm fed up with waiting. Blue, let me think. Oh, that's right, I told you to come, just wait. Here, Red, there are three Pokemon here. The Pokemon are held inside these Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. But now in my old age, I have only these three left. You can have one. Go on, choose. Hey, Gramps, no fair, what about me? Be patient, Blue, you can have one too. So, of course, we have three options, and I'm sure most of you guys know, but just in case you don't know. We've got Charmander. Um, fire Pokemon. This is the one that I originally chose my first ever Pokemon playthrough. We're not gonna go with him. There is Bulbasaur, um, grass type. Not gonna go with him either. We're gonna go ahead and go with Squirtle. Um, my favorite type is Water, along with Psychic. That's why my favorite Pokemon is Starmie. Um, so I think I'm gonna follow that trend. I'm gonna probably have a lot of Water Pokemon. Um, so yes, we're gonna go with Squirtle. Um, so I did receive the Squirtle, and I, th I thought about maybe nicknaming pe um, certain Pokemon. I don't think I'm going to. Um, we'll see. Me, I might change my mind and maybe start giving nicknames, but um, for now I won't. So then Blue's going to go ahead and take the Bulbasaur, obviously the opposite of what we have. Um, but it's not that bad, because we only really have like stuff like Tackle in the beginning anyway. If wild Pokemon appears, your Pokemon can battle it. Without it at your side, you can be able to reach the next town. Alright. Wait, Red, let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. Of course, we're not going to be able to leave without um, actually battling here. And again, in a normal fight, 
yeah, it's a little more leveled up, he would beat me, but since the game starts out with, like, tackle, it's fine. Sent out Bulbasaur. Go Squirtle. Oh, for Pete's sake, so pushy as always. You've never had a Pokemon before, have you? Pokemon battle is when trainers put hit their Pokemon against each other. The trainer that makes the other's Pokemon faint by lowering their HP to zero wins. But rather than talking about it, you'll learn more from experience. Try battling and see for yourself. Okay, so I luckily I have played Pokemon games before, so we're just gonna go ahead and um. Mm, let's just. I feel like a Tail Whip and then Tackle might be good, but yeah, we'll just go for the normal Tackle. How much does he do? Okay, so he does less than me, so we can just tackle him to death. That's fine. We could win the battle pretty easily by just doing this. Again, I, we could get fancy with the Tail Whip, but I almost feel like I don't want to chance it in case something weird happens. And another thing that I want to do this game is I do want to... I've been really into shiny hunting in Pokemon Go. Maybe we'll try to get some shiny Pokemon in this game. Okay, there we go. Receive some HP. Or XP, sorry. Got a little level up going. Player defeated rival blue. What? Unbelievable. I picked the wrong Pokemon. Got it. EDG. Hmm, excellent. If you win, you earn prize money and your Pokemon will grow. Battle other trainers, make your Pokemon strong. Also, I don't know what the currency is. I'm just going to say G because I think it's... I don't know, bells, Gs, whatever, dollars. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon battle to toughen it up. Red, Gramps, smell you later. S smell you later, alligator. Okay, so I think we can just go ahead and go now. Um, yeah. Um, do I... I'm guessing I don't have any Pokeballs, right? Um, okay, let's see. Controls. How do I get to my menu? Okay, there we go. So, tab is gonna be my menu. To go into the bag. Okay, so we don't have anything currently. We can save? Yes, let's go ahead and save the game. Look, look, I copied what it said on one of those trainer tip signs. Press start to open me. Okay, I, I know how to do that. Alright, let's, uh... So again, right now we do not have any Pokeballs. Oh, okay, so we can't catch whatever we fight, but that's fine. Pidgey. Level 3. And, um, just like any other RPG, I will probably end up doing a lot of, like, you know, grinding off-camera and all that good stuff. Tackle. How much does it do? Okay, three. So we can survive a few Pidgeys. That's fine. Ooh, critical hit. That's very unlucky, actually. First, the first fight we get, we already get critted. You, give me Pokeballs. Hey. I work at the Pokemon Mart. It's a part of convenient chain selling all sorts of items. Please visit Viridian City. I know. I'll give you a sample. Here you go. A potion. Red for the potion. I was hoping you'd give me some Pokeballs. What do I need a po- well, actually, I do need a potion very soon. Um, I'm gonna avoid Pokemon battles until I can get balls just cause, eh. I can do a lot of that grindy stuff off camera too. See those ledges along the road? A bit scary, but you can jump from them. You can get back to Palatown quicker that way. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I like. I didn't know what I was doing there. Another Pidgey. All right, let's try. I want to see. Can I kill it quicker by using Tail Whip? Choose a Tail Whip. Well, its defense goes down. Use Tackle. Okay. Let's see. Can I kill it in two? Oh, I still have to hit it with three. Okay, um, actually, I have to use a potion here. Yeah, actually, I had to use it or I'm <laughs> literally gonna die. Attack missed, okay. That makes up for the crit a little bit. Let's go ahead and use another tackle. That's... And see, and this is when a Pokeball would come in handy right there. But now we won't be able to do that because I'm gonna level up and my attack is gonna go just a tiny bit higher and then... We could probably knock out the next Pidgey in two. But at that point, it doesn't really matter. I could tackle it in three or tail whip in two tackles at that point. But we did learn Bubble Beam, which is good. I, th I think it I think it just said that. I was kind of clicking a little too fast, but... Viridian City. Okay, so we'll be able to finally get some Pokeballs. Okay, nothing this way. Oh, I forgot that I, in this game, you need, you need to buy the shoes. I just want to make sure. 
And again, I haven't played this game in quite a few years, so like, I know the layout of mostly everything. And I probably didn't need to use my potion right then. You want to know about the two kinds of Caterpillar Pokemon? Sure. Caterpie has no poison, but Weedle does. Watch your Pokemon are stabbed by Needle's poison sting. Okay. Let's go ahead and um, heal our Pokemon. I don't think Squirtle's hurt, but I'm too lazy to check. I'll we'll probably buy a few Pokeballs. Hey, you! You came from Pallet Town. You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Can I, can, can I get you to take it to him? Well, of course you can. Okay, thanks. Please say hi to Professor Oak for me. Okay, thanks. Oh, can I not buy any Pokeballs? Okay, apparently it won't let me. Okay, so I know... So this is another just random house. I'm trying to memorize all my notes. Okay, I think over there is... Something else. Okay, so I feel like I should... Because I know if we keep going up, we're going to hit a forest. So I guess let's just go to... Let's go back to Professor Oak right now. And, um... We actually start catching some things. I was like, I could play... I'm playing an emulator, I could play either one. So... But I think... I like green. Green's cool. Oh, Red, how is my old Pokemon? It seems to be growing more attached to you. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What's that? You have something for me? There's your parcel, bud. Ah, it's the custom Pokeball. I had it on order. Thank you. Gramps. I almost forgot. What did you call me for? Oh, right. I have a request for you two. On the desk, there is my invention, the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Red and blue, take these with you. Received Pokedex. You can't, you can't, you can't get detailed data on Pokemon by just seeing them. You must catch them to obtain. So here, here are some tools for catching wild Pokemon. Okay, got some balls. Put the Pokeballs. When a wild Pokemon appears, it's fair game. Just throw a Pokeball at it and try to catch it. This won't always work, however. A healthy Pokemon can escape. You have to be lucky. To make a complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world, that was my dream. But I'm too old and I can't get the job done, so I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. Alright, Gramps, leave it to me. I hate to say it, but you won't be necessary for this. I know. I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one. Haha, <laughs> don't bother coming around my place after this. Well, maybe we can grab a town map from her, too. Hopefully. She's probably in here, right? Yo, can I get a map? Grandpa asked you to run an errand? Gee, that's lazy of him. Here, this will help you. Receive town map. Okay, it's a good thing you told me to go grab it. Okay. I think we're all good to go. We gotta... Let's see, what does the map look like? Okay, so I remapped the button. Um, I still can't do anything with it, but that's fine. Okay. Anyway, I love daddling. Let's go ahead and get moving. Let's try to... Of course, we'll have to catch a Pidgey, right? It's like the first thing we have to do. Hopefully, we can get it in one of these. Oh, like, no encounters. Okay, that's cool, I guess. Alright, let's see what our... It's probably a Pidgey, right? Yep, okay. Let's go ahead and catch this Pidgey. Um, let's go ahead and fight. Oh, Bubble. Alright, let's see how much this does. Him with a bubble. Okay. Um. Probably take one more bubble. Okay. <laughs> I really hope we catch it in the first ball, because if we don't, I'm actually. Ooh, we put in the red. Don't. Okay. Because we'll actually be in trouble if we don't catch it here. Oh, okay. There we go. I'm like, that. There's the town map. Well, let's go ahead and use a Pokeball. And again, if we don't catch it, I actually die. So let's hope that doesn't happen, right? Epic. Alright. Here we go, we got ourselves a Pidgey. You have a nickname? Nah. Um. Hmm. We don't have another potion. Let's hope we don't. No! Do we just die here? Or we could try to run. Okay, we, I think we have to run because I will die. Okay, how's that good? We're gonna die here, man. I'm like, I'm a Pokemon noob. 
How did I do this as a kid? I almost just died right away. Alright, well, we're gonna go ahead and, um... Oh, you want something I should really pull up? I should pull up, uh, route Pokemon guides. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna do that right now. So I can try to make sure... Try to get every single one of them, you know? So, the only Pokemon, the only two we can catch are Piggy and Rattata. So, let's go ahead and let's keep trying to find the Rattata. Um, so we just, again, maybe I'll just try to go route by route and catch every single one that's there. And there we go, Rattata. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and fight it. Let's get it, get it low. Bam. Okay. Well, let's, ooh. Okay, so that saves me one attack here. Alright, don't crit, please. I need it to actually not crit. Okay, good. Attack. I was probably gonna do six. Yep, around six. That's going to use a Pokeball. Okay. And then like, we're gonna go ahead and, um. Tata. Give nickname? No, I'm good. Okay, so we caught both Pokemon here, so we're pretty much good to go. Okay, so obviously our next objective is to kind of go up, but I think there are some Pokemon we can get over here, so I'm gonna go ahead and let's try to get them. And there's probably an item here. Yeah, there we go. On a potion. Okay, we actually might need that potion. over here and I think there should be Mankey and Spiro so we're gonna go ahead and try to catch both of those while we're here and then of course until we get a rod we won't be able to catch any of the water Pokemon anywhere but that's fine Mankey okay there we go okay let's go ahead and I'm actually kind of scared bubble might kill it but let's go ahead and take a look Oh, okay. Leer. Okay, so my defense goes down. Yep. Let's go and use Bubble again, and ho again, hope- I'm actually hoping for not a crit. Okay, that's good. Leer again! Cool, we don't even have to take any damage. Bag. Gonna use a Pokeball. So then the only other one that we're looking for is gonna be Spiro. Yep, because we got Rattata, Mankey, and Spiro. Now, Spiro is only 10% encounter rate. So, extremely quick to anger. It could be Dasa one moment, then thrashing away the next instant. Nope. Alright, let's try to look for that Spiro. Trying to learn Water Gun. Oh, Squirrel can't learn more than four moves. Delete a move to make room for Water Gun? Yes, please. Let's go ahead and remove... Um, Tail Whip. We don't need Tail Whip. One, two, and poof. Squirtle forgot Tail Whip. And Squirtle learned Water Gun. Okay, that'll help us quite a bit. Man, we're not even to Route 2 and we're already level 13. I Again, I know I could find a Spearow later on in the game, but I want a Spearow now. Spearow? Not a Spearow. Dude, don't tell me. It escapes again, I don't have any more Pokeballs, and I'll have to look for it again! That's terrible. Oh, no. Let's see, would I have killed it? No, that's... Oh, no, I have to look for it again. That's fine. Well, let's go buy some Pokeballs, and... Find it again. And again, I don't even care how much time this takes. Inside the Pokemart, let's buy. We have 3,000, because we grinded pretty hard right there. Let's go ahead and buy... 10? Alright, let's go ahead and buy... Let's go ahead and buy one antidote. Let's buy two paralyzed heals. Buy a potion. 
and let's actually buy two more antidotes. There we go. Alright, so there goes all of our money. But, I think that was some pretty good stuff right there. Another Spearow! Okay, this one was much quicker than the last, thank you. Alright, level 5. I'm actually still scared of killing it, so I'm just not gonna hit it. I'm just not gonna play those games right now. One, two, three. Good, okay. There we go! There's our Spearow that we could have gotten much easily later, but that's fine. Eats bugs in grassy areas, it has to flap its short wings at high speed to stay airborne. Give Spiro name? Nope, I'm good. Alright, so now we are, I don't know, I think we're heading to Route 2 and then Viridian Forest. Um, but it looks like my recording is at like 30, 40 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop this episode here, guys. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment on this channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and bye.